given that cos x equals 2 on 3, evaluate cos 2x. Pope John. It is negative 1 over 9. That's correct. <laughs> Find, find, find the coordinates of the image of the point A, negative 2, comma 2, under the linear transformation T such that x, comma y goes to 2x plus y, comma x minus 2, St. Peter's. The x coordinate is negative 2 and the y coordinate is negative 6. That's correct. Find So I understand that some of you may speak slowly. I'm going to allow that. But if there are pauses in your answers, I will move. Find the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve. Y equals X plus a fraction. The numerator of that fraction is 1. St. Peter's. The X coordinate is 1 and the Y coordinate is 2. Or the X coordinate is negative 1 and the y coordinate is negative 2. That's correct. So, it was x, x plus 1 on x. What? What math? What mass of calcium hydroxide is needed to neutralize 400 cm cube of 0 0.50 mole per dm cube aqueous HCl? We have 11.2 grams. No. Who else rang the bell? Pope John. You have 0 0.74 grams. No. Seven point four. Seven point four grams. Calculate. Calculate the percentage by mass of carbon in two methyl hexane. Um, Pope John. Seventy percent. No, Saint Peter's. Eighty-four percent. Yes, it's eighty-four percent. Our next question, helium, helium effuses through a pinhole six times 144 grams per mole. That's correct. So it effuses six times faster than an unknown gas. They were to determine the molar mass of the gas, and it's 144 gram per mole. Find the product of the acceleration due to gravity and the horizontal range of an object projected 30 degrees above the horizontal at 8 meters per second, leaving your answer as a third. Pope John. 32 root 3. That in meters squared per second squared. That's correct. Light.
Light, light is incident from a medium of refractive index, index seven on four, onto the boundary with, onto the boundary with a medium of refractive index three on two. Find the sign of the angle of incidence at which the light is just totally reflected. Give your answer as a fraction. Six over seven. Yes, six over seven. Our next. Give the wavelength of the second longest wavelength spectral line in the Lyman series of hydrogen, correct to three significant figures. The wavelength of the second longest wavelength spectral line in the Lyman series of hydrogen to three significant figures. Yes, Pope John. 91.1 nanometers. No. It's 103 nanometers. What type of natural resource are living? Human resource. No. Uh, living organisms. Living organisms. What type of natural resource are living organisms? Oh. You know, renewable or non renewable? So it's renewable. What kind, what kind of pathogen causes polio malitis? Okwapeman. Virus. Yes, virus. <laughs> name, name the main energy source bio. Adenosine triphosphate. No. Biomolecule for cells. The main energy source, biomolecule for cells. Ah. St. Peter's. Glucose. Yes, it's glucose. That brings us to the end of round two. <laughs>